Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode episode. And everything we did in the last episode led to this moment where we finally have 93 Slayer, high magic, high stats all across the board. And there is only one thing we want to do, and that is to farm a cult from Smoke Devil. So we already have the task to go ahead and farm some absolutely ridiculously expensive items. So let's see if we get lucky and let's jump right into it. Hello. Hi. Bye. Let's see if he follows this time. Man! I'll go again. Hello! Wait. Dude, we're visiting a situation. Maximum PK versus Maximum PK is going crazy on the Mr. Arrogant. Dubby Dubbies versus Arrogant. Who wins? Oh my god, it's craziness. Let's repair. We're gonna spectate whilst repairing the railing. Oh my god, they're going crazy. Ouch. Oh. Could have hit. With what? Have you paid attention to what I am wearing? Shit. What am I doing wrong here? Bro, where is the demons coming from? There's people everywhere. There it is. The dwarf cannon is completed. Wonderful. I can now afford a cannon, I hope. We also got the 27 crafting. Let's go buy a cannon for the breach. In five minutes, we're gonna go absolutely crazy. And we're gonna be looking at formidable fighter, titanium and feral fighter. Now, it's getting scary with like some absolute demon looking like PKers around. But that's okay, because we're losing some absolutely ridiculously expensive items. So realistically, we lose 2 million if we were to die, which is one whip, which boom, we're already back. We have 20 million in this. We're completely vibing. And this is how we're gonna go. No range potion, nothing like that. We don't need it, just strength pot and melee. So this time we're starting the breach on 19,852. And I will try to remember to check how much we end up on. Look at this prox. Oh, Kriara is going a bit crazy right now. See what I mean though? Progs go crazy. Just got double rune though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at it go. Some mystic. Death runes. This guy's PKing. I'll go over this. Oh, we got good full HP damage here. It just needs to proc. I'll take some reference. Archaic Emblem, there it is, there it is. Yoink. Come on, give it. Reference, damn it. Oh, Dragon Battle X, okay. Decent Alk. I got proc, and I got like 3 hits, and 4 hits, and 5 hits, and it procced, and this is mine. Surely, 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 look. I knew it. Emblem, there it is. Bori is dying. <gasps> nah, surely not. Okay, he has the dig. He's good, he's good. And now I need to play range because of Kriara. We're gonna strategically dig and teleport out and come back in. Okay, that's uh, not really a good attempt from PKer, but he does ruin a bit of my time and a bit of my DPS. That's MVP for sure, mine, right? I knew it. Another emblem, let's get it. I can't even loot it, bro. What's that? Number three, number four, something like that. Festa longsword. Festa longsword. Wait, everybody saw that. Wait, I think a PKR died, there was VLS on the floor, he lost everything. I'm pretty sure a PKR got fucking yeeted off the map. Trinket of advanced weaponry. Fuck, this guy yoinked it. Why are all these things on the floor, bro? That was mine and I didn't see it, by the way. I lost it. Look, it's in the chat and I fucking didn't pick it up like an NPC I am. You didn't get the drop? You received highlighted drop trinket of advanced weaponry. Oh, it's here. It disappeared again. That was someone else's. I'm telling you, bro. This is kind of weird, no? Oh, it could be in my looting bag, actually. That's a good shout. We'll see. Yeah, shit just keeps spawning in the end, bro. If you're confident in surviving, you just stick around. Until your bag is absolutely full to the brim. That was fun. Let's see if I managed to pick it up. I didn't. I think I lost it. I think I lost the trinket. Oh, that's a shame, man. That could have been like 2-3 million that I basically threw away. We did get a bunch of emblems though, so all in all, really good run. And then the final points. 
So we, you're telling me we started on 19,000 and ended on almost 24,000. I think our DPS was crazy. We have entered an absolutely ridiculous stage of, of Deadman mode when we are barraging, cannoning smoke devils, bro. This is what I've been waiting for. Will I get sniped? Yes. Am I doing this on stream? Yes. Do I have no delay? Yes. Are we gonna be dead in the next clip? Yes. Are we having fun doing it? Also, yes. So really looking forward to this until I die, but I think it's gonna be fun. I was like, bro, I got a cult. I got a shield left half from this guy. Nah, this is a movie. Hey, there it is, the first one, the first one, 10 million, that is how easy it is to make like 60 million 07 by the way, that right there, 60 million 07 or maybe 50, and now you know what we do, we throw it in the bank and we go again, and then what we do is we get another one, we throw it in the bank and we go again, sigil of the nature, is this one good, somebody look it up, how much is sigil of the nature please, I would appreciate, zero? No value? 80k? I mean 80k is 80k, right? It pays for like 3 cannonballs. Sigil of the Augmented Troll. Nice. <gasps> Superior. Oh fuck. Okay, well I'm staying. That's a million in my event. But I cannot go now. That's the worst timing to get Superior, but I'm kinda happy. What do we get? Sigil of the Porcupine. Sigil of the Porcupine. That one is insane I think, no? Oh, and the dust battle. Hold on. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Dust battle stuff. How much is porcupine, by the way? That is insane. Well, it used to be insane in the 1v1s. I don't know how much it is right now. Oh, man. But I, I'm happy because I don't have it yet. So this one I don't have, and the other one is just straight up money. You just got 30 mil 07, just like this. Yeah, not only that, bro. Like, I can make so much money 07 through this method. And, like, I don't lose anything on Deadman mode. I have everything I could ask for. It's not like I'm sacrificing my DMM progress for 07. Not at all. If anything, I'm, like, keeping it nice and safe. And then if I ever need to, like, swap the other way around, I also can do that. Eh, hey, yes, dude. Yes. Number two. Where were we? 50 mil 07? Yes, sir. Thermonuclear smoke devil. Watch this. This is occult situation right now. There it is. Give me a little heart right here. What? Rune pouch note. Where is it even? Rune pouch note. The fuck? You can get that? Sigil of the aggression. Oh, right before the nerd log. Right before the nerd log. I knew it, bro. How much is aggression, bro? Did we just make like crazy bank again? 20 million. <gasps> Dude. That's 100 mil 07, bro. 35 mil deadman mode. Huh? What? What? Trinket of the undead. I was like 2 million last one. Let's do it. I will low sell it a little bit. 1.3 mil. Uh, okay, I'll leave it like this. Precision is 11 million. Don't mind if I do that 60 mil 07. Insta sold. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea how much money this is. 11 mil, just like that. Aggression. I kid you not, sell price 40 million. 40 million. I'll go down to 38. I'm not going lower though. Oof. I'm scared. And how much is troll? Augmented troll. 1.2 as well for this one. Okay, let it cook for a bit. There we go, Trinity of Undead, bot, VLS, I'm just gonna sell it for 9900k. Uh, so I hope this sells, this sells, and this sells, we'll give it like a little bit of time. And then Whip, I can sell one more for, how much was Whip, let's take a look. Whip was 2.4, so, wow, Whip is holding on in price by the way. Bang. Insta sold for 2.4, beautiful. Occult is 7 mil right now, I can do it for like 6 mil. There we go. Okay, that's a cold that uh, managed to sell for 5.2 as well, so that's 20 mil now. And whilst we're at it, might as well start figuring out if I can sell some more alkables. But this might take me a little bit of time. Oh, there it is. It's sold. 33 million. I have 53 million with a swap rate of 1 till 6. 53 times 6. I just made 320 million 07, I kid you not. And this can sell, and this can sell, 
Here, I'll, I'll give it to someone for 800. Who am I swapping with? I think Voss is buying. Or the great mate is buying. One of them. Oh, come on. Why are they all so fucking... Just trade me, bro. Oh, my... My cannon is gone. There we go. Fuck's sake. We do a little calculation as well. 50 time, 55 times 6 equals 330. We're accepting 330. There we go. Boom. And bam. Just like that. Pleasure doing business. So you are telling me right now that in one day of playing Deadman mode, one day, I kid you not, I made 474 million one day of Deadman mode. One day. Dude, this game's broken, bro. Holy shit. Uh, I had 5 million extra, so we're now getting 30 mil more on 07. And with that, I have officially, I kid you not, made over 500 million in one day of Deadman mode. That is insane. Woo! And a cult. We got another occult. We take those. But I'm finishing this task. I'm not banking it. Yeah, there it is. We did it. Oh my god, no way. Sigil of the Feral Fighter. Right on the end. <laughs> Wait, that's actually decent, I think. This is good money as well. Dude, let me tell you, like, we're fucking cooking right now. So there it is. Apparently I missed it. I was getting ready for it and I missed it. But 95 defense, just four more levels to go. Gonna probably do all of it with barrage. And then the rest of the attack is probably gonna just be done on the breaches is what I'm thinking. Slayer is gonna be 94 in a second here, so that's also kinda sick. Ever since I've equipped Prosperity, I have been getting so many sigil drops, like the rare ones as well, that we made absolute bank, so I'm not unequipping that sigil like no matter what. Alright, here we go, here we go. Can I get something huge? Eh. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Alright boys, here we go. This could be huge. In a way I gotta... I got a katana, bro. Is this worth... Is this worth shit? Bro, where's people? Am I playing in an instance or something? Then I'm expecting PKRs here like crazy tanks. There's just nothing. No one exists. Hey, boys. Another occult. Occult number four. Yes, man. Nuclear smoke devil. You guys know the drill. We're getting an occult. We're getting a sigil of the ninja. We're getting it all here. It's gonna be sick. I am back and I got Sigil of Last Recall by the way. I kid you not, I just got Sigil of Last Recall, like right now. I wanted to buy it, it was like 5 mil, I was like, eh, I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hmm. But this is elite clue scroll. How is this elite? Oh, okay, there we go. Good fight boys, good fight. Pleasure doing business. Can't survive this one. Good fight, fellas. Good fight. Good fight. Can't say it. I didn't say it in time. Alright. Okay, we're not gonna die again. Uh, no, man. Alright, we got... Sigil of Agile Fortune. I don't think I have this one yet, so... Let me put it this way. It was bound to happen at some point, okay? I probably lost like mil to two mil, but that's like nothing. Okay, so what do we lose right now from the bank Aronovich here? We're going to be smart. Do I care about 4,000 ref rules? I don't care about this defense, but uh, this is a bit of a more annoying key to lose. Well, I am just uh, waiting a little bit. I just ended the stream because I died. And obviously if I were to die again, now I lose actually quite a little bit more. So I need to be a little bit more careful and I need to rebuy items that are worth a bit less. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and train a little bit of agility. The plan is to reach 70 anyways. Uh, so one of the sigils I still do not have is Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger. So I'm just going to try to buy it for like 2 mil. Uh, it's 1.7. So now we have it. And obviously I sell all my dupes, but I like to keep it. This is like a cool little Pokemon collection. I have every fucking sigil in the game almost aside from the really expensive ones i sold those and uh, if you l take a look at this i lose every dagger sure whatever i lose a couple of things nothing too crazy oh my god i got another one i didn't even see it so this will slowly start to override my other items lost yeah insta bot for 6.5 i think that's pretty solid and then the sigil that I was actually interested in buying, I believe it's called Sigil of a Remote Storage. Let's see. Yeah, so this will be automatically sent to my bank. So let's go ahead and buy Sigil of a Remote Storage. It's a pretty big one. It's uh, like, I'll, I'll literally spend the, in the same amount of money for it. But unfortunately, it doesn't purchase. 
I think it will buy over time. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. I'm gonna be completely honest, if it wasn't for the Sigil of the Bloodhound, we wouldn't be experimenting like some of the nice highs in this Deadman. I mean, we haven't had like a really cool clue yet, but this breaks down the monotone slayer task, complete task, big task, complete task, because this, I don't know, man, this is fun, you know, having that small chance of rare items is just straight up fun. And any bless the hides, anything like that, uh, just goes for actually a lot right now. And uh, if it doesn't go for a lot, it can be a placeholder for one of the items that you lose. So it's technically pretty valuable, right? So let's go ahead and see if we get something nice out of, uh, out of this one. Another D-Boots ornament kit. I think that's my second one. Two Alcabus and Pirate's Head. That's a new one. We're gonna allow the faith to be in the game right now. We're not gonna be picking the task because we only have two picks available. We're just gonna let the game decide. What is it that we are going to do? I feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm not streaming. The game wants us to go kill spiritual creatures. Alrighty then. Okay, I decided to sell another occult just because we are basically running out of space completely in our bank department. And I'm gonna probably transfer it off because uh, the sigils that I'm trying to buy don't buy. And honestly, I'm not sure if they're worth that much money at this stage in the game. It's a lot of money I'm throwing into the sigils but where I think it would be a lot more useful to just have on my main account. I'll try to buy sigil of the enhanced harvest for 4 mil which basically gives me quintuple resources when I am doing skilling, basically. And then I would also love to have storage one. Sage of storage for like 100k because it's kind of shit. There we go. That's the worst one, but it still bangs like a few things. All right, we're doing another swap. 11 mil for 55 mil, I believe. Uh, I'm going to go first this time around. Boom. This is usually a little bit riskier, but I mean, they have a rank, so should be all right. There it is. 61 miller. I, it's even more than what I thought, uh, so even better. It was 5.5, not to just 5. So we are now close to 600 mil, I think. All right, let's try not to die. Cemetery. Okay, that's our first ecumenical key. We might be using this one a little bit later, especially if it works with last recall. If I can go inside and then just recall back in, that would be huge. There it is, the boots, little collection lock pop-up. However, since I didn't take them with me, I'll just uh, grab them, use them, put these ones here. And that's a miller right now, so, and they're very common, very, very common. But obviously, this is very risky. We're once again in multi, and literally three kills later, another pair. Oh my goodness, third pair. And I just came here. There is another ecumenical key. We always like to take those. I think I can get up to three, maybe. That's pair number four already. That is four mil done. There it is, 98 attack, meaning just one more attack level to go. We're almost there, 124 combat as well, which is huge. And there is a third ecumenical key, which is probably where it stops. Maybe I can get four, but I'm not sure. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, test the price of one. It might not be a million, but I'm pretty sure this will insta sell. Okay, how about we sell one for 800k? How about that? Yeah, Insta sold for 800k. So it's not quite a million, but it's pretty close. That is number five. Okay, there we go. The task is done. We got five boots together, probably around 4 million. That's still good money. Greater demons. Oh, this one's ugly, but I'll do it. Not the task I want to be doing, but in all honesty, I don't think it should be too bad. When it procs, it goes like crazy. Like, this is pure joy right here. There it is, 99 attack, and now we only have one thing to go, and that's defense. So, beautiful. That was really smooth. The scythe is really fast, by the way. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't TP. Thank fuck I didn't TP. Sigil of the Guardian Angel, I kid you not, guys. Last price, 17 million. What is happening? That's the big level 70 agility. We can now use pretty important shortcuts and we are 25 minutes away from the breaches spawning. I'm pretty exhausted, but I'm gonna stick through it. Uh, I am still running <clears throat> Feral Titanium Formidable, hoping for the MVP on the squishy melee bosses that I can slash. Nice, double proc immediately. Triple proc immediately. Could already be my loot, by the way. How many times did I just proc there? Yeah, instant MVP. Instant. That's one. Mystic. That's a bit of money. Bruised, though. 
Reference, not bad. There's a lot of people in this world right now. Not too bad. I think I got decent hits on the goblin there. It's always the goblins that I get decent damage on. Wonder why. Oi, Morrigan's throwing axes for me. PvP drop right there. Still have one pot in me, so the next time I take damage, I brew... Hey, another emblem. There it is. Big damage. How are we on supplies? I think I can tank like few free... Oh. Okay, I think someone is attacking me. So, quick bank. Here we go again. Just trying to hide inside people because there's PKers absolutely everywhere. Oh, there's another one. I see it. So I did actually get MVP on that as well. That's crazy. 96 defense on the bridge. We take those. Absolutely looting everything that's left. That's us. He just... See, this is what I'm saying. The one time I get hit, they don't even hit me. He hits and goes, man. How much did we get? 1.8. Uh, remember, guys, we did get the Morrigans. We did get, like, five emblems. It has been a sick trip here. Here is the quick plan. I woke up only for the breach. After the breach, we put a lot of items on the market and go right back to sleep for a bit longer. When we wake up, hopefully items sell, and then we swap them over. Another emblem. Let's get it. Nice. First one. Oh, there we go. We're picking, getting PK'd right now. So let me focus. They went off me immediately. But now I used my brew. So now we are gonna TP out. Oh, this guy's on me. Okay, let's focus. Range. This mage. Always think about your escapes, guys. Emblem and Vesta Spear. Haha, <laughs> but why Vesta Spear? So last breach, I got a PvP weapon. This breach, I got a PvP weapon. Trinket, let's get it. And another emblem, two MVPs back to back. Now, I do believe Vesta Spear is gonna start gaining in value because people are gonna start doing Corp. So it's not a bad drop whatsoever. No, the claws. I think the claws are pretty bad because you can't use them in PvE. Okay, the selling is already in progress. VLS sold for almost 9 mil, Spear for 920, Occult for almost 6, and I'm selling some of the rest of my bank. And the GA also sold for 10 mil. It used to be more, but I don't personally think it is even worth even close to this type of amount because, again, look at this. This is not worth 9 million. Okay, it appears I was just spamming on the GE. This time I'm not using a swapping Discord. 33 million for one to six so i'm getting like an even better rate than i did on the swapping discords so here we go aggression he should be trading me 198 mil that is crazy yeah and that is him already and end of for 33 mil look at this beautifulness almost basically 200 mil accept it here boom accept it here boom pleasure doing business sir we have now made 800 million gold pieces i kid you not in one day of runescape wow it is time to begin the project all right we bought ourselves thorak body verax legs we're gonna be using trinket of the undead we have 70 agility we have the task it is 5 a.m meaning we are now completely ready for cerberus there we go first kc out of many for rune halberd and some ashes and that is 95 Slayer as well. That's a useful drop. If I ever need to bank, don't need to do the whole run again. What? I just got a shield left half from Cerberus. Okay. Yo, there it is. There it is, boys. Big one. We also get battle stuff. Okay, so I've done 42 serbs so far, and I've done all of it with an uncharged scythe, and it was okay, but I want to test it out how it feels if I do add these blood runes, and if I can see a massive difference, oof, this might really be worth it. 
Oh, this is fast. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, I'm gonna be using blood runes. Bro. That speed is unreal. Hey, there it is, 98 def def defense? What the fuck? 98 defense. And going through absolute speed through this serve, but it's expensive, man. But yeah, one more level, and we're maxed out melee stats. <gasps> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Eternal crystal. Okay, I think I can sell that for good money. Nice. It appears that that is 12 million. I'm going to try to get one more drop and then sell it later because if I start selling now, then I need to swap now, then I can't keep going and people will know that I'm doing Cerberus. But because I'm off stream and if I keep it nice and low, I can sell it in a little bit later. And in the usual me fashion, uh, I managed to miss the last 99, 99 defense because I was watching YouTube videos whilst doing Cerberus. Uh, but yeah, 81 KC, I believe, and uh, we are now completely maxed out. Maxed out HP, attack, strength, defense, even magic is done. Prayer is super close, range is super close. Oh, <gasps> nah, nah, not, not the smoldering stone. That's not the right one, right? Now nah, I'm confused. No, no, it's not, it's not. Ah, damn. Oh, I didn't even notice, but that was Serp kill count 100. And so far, two crystals, a little bit under the drop rate, but not too bad. Okay, I reached the point where I want to be chilling a bit and not kill Cerberus. I think 100 is a nice milestone. So because of that, it is now time for us to sell this eternal crystal. Let's sell it for 12 million exactly. Uh, I'll give it a bit of time. Obviously, these items are not really known to be in the game already. I actually found an item that I'm pretty much interested in. A sigil of the Infernal Chef. Oh, well, well, I was speaking about it and it bought. And what this is going to do is when I'm catching fish, it's going to cook it as well. Storage is going to send it to bank. Enhanced Harvest is going to do it five times. Let's just train a little bit of fishing. So you may be wondering, man, why would you train fishing in Deadman mode? It makes no sense. Well, first of all, we get points for levels and we get points for 99. So there's a small chance that I will go for a fully maxed account again. But also, if you guys notice, there is often a breach that happens right under the fishing guild. So if I have the re level requirement to go in, that can be my escape from a PKer. I could have done some quests in order to get my fishing up, or I could just relax here and wait. Since it isn't buying, I'm gonna adjust the price a little bit. 9.8, that would be still a very nice thing to get. And we're just gonna go back to fishing. Ah, would you look at that? I was AFK fishing, come back, and there it is, the 9 million. So, you guys already know the drill by now. Um, some of you guys were worried, by the way, in my last video, that why am I swapping? Uh, I'm not quitting that reward or anything like that. Uh, it is just when the rates are the way they are right now, and with me making that much money so fast, it makes more sense to swap to 07 and then later on swap the gear back in if I need to, than to hold on to all of the gear that I was getting. I mean, if I have 12 whips in my bank, what am I gonna do with 12 whips? I'm completely fine with one whip or two whips or three whips, right? But I don't need 12. That's basically the idea behind the swapping, but also kind of interested to see how much money we actually make in total. Alright, seems like all the swappers are sleeping, so I'm over here getting 68 fishing, which was the requirement for the fishing guild, which is what we wanted. In the process, also 71 cooking, decent amount of points as well, so that's pretty solid. There we go, it, it appears that we finally have a buyer, so 50 million, which is actually really good, and we're gonna go ahead and accept 50 mil, give him 10 mil, accept 50 mil, give him 10 mil. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, in this video alone, well, in a little bit in the last video as well, we managed to get ourselves 848 million old school. All right, then, finally, I was getting really bored of skilling. It is time to return back to PVMing. Let's get more drops.